Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are decorating my home for the holidays. So if you like Christmas trees or you just want an excuse to drink a cup of hot cocoa, today's video is for you. We're gonna decorate together and then of course I'm going to give you a Christmas tour of my home. So let's get into today's video. This year we do have two Christmas trees and they are both from King of Christmas. So this is Christmas tree number one here. It is very, very massive and I fluffed part of it, but honestly I've not fluffed the whole thing yet because it requires me actually getting on a ladder to do so. And then over here we have Christmas tree number two and they are both 10 foot flocked Christmas trees from King of Christmas. And we ended up getting these trees because every year we went through tree after tree. And the one last year there was so much fluff. There was so much dust that I felt like I honestly like couldn't breathe when I was around it because I was inhaling so much fake snow. So we wanted to get something that was high quality and something that we could store really easily for years to come. So this is what the Christmas trees look like up close and we actually didn't get them pre-lit so we lit them ourselves. So as I am going through today in today's video, I'm going to actually tuck some of these lights to, you know, uh, make them look a little bit more obscure. They don't need to be front and center, but we ended up getting Christmas trees that were actually unlit because they're going to last for longer. And you're like, what, what does that mean? Well, they're gonna last for longer because I put these lights on and it's really easily for me to replace them in case they go out. And we get fake Christmas trees because of the dog and fire hazards. Um, I'm really, you know, anxious when it comes to fire hazards because, you know, I've had actually problems with that before so I just choose to get um, faux trees and we also tend to travel for the holidays and we like to have our trees up for a really really long time so this just makes a little bit more sense to us but you can see if you fluff from the inside out it just looks so much more full and it's very tedious I would probably say do this as you assemble the tree we assembled our trees a few weeks ago but do this as you assemble the tree it'll make it a lot easier because you can do it um, all the way up but you can also be like me and wait to do it at the the very end of the rope here in terms of decorating the trees I actually had an ornament that really inspired our entire Christmas theme this year and it is a really nice antiqued glass gold ornament and it just looks so nice and luxe and just like inviting to me and I had to have it and I went to actually three at homes buying all the ones they had in Pittsburgh I know that's kind of like a social faux pas but I had to do it and these are so nice and well made now this is ornament number Number two it's very glam it's very glitzy but I'm obsessed with it I love all the texture that it brings again I took off the hook that it came with because it just hangs a little bit too low I also have these ones which are also from at home that I love as well as you can see here I have all of my more fragile ornaments in this big Ikea bag um, because they didn't come in boxes so this one this was $2.99 um, this one was $3.99 these were a little bit more expensive relative to my other ornaments um, and then I have some cheaper ones kind of like this one but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the nice ones up and then I'm going to come in with the smaller cheaper ones and kind of go from there You definitely want to vary your ornaments in terms of size and you'll see as I do this I'm kind of just putting things up randomly. I'll come back and fix them as I go through but goal number one is just to kind of get all the ornaments up on the tree. I used to be really really uptight and it would take me forever to decorate the tree because I was like I don't know where I want to put XYZ. And I'm letting you all know now there is no rhyme or reason to why I'm putting things where I am putting them. I'm just putting them where it feels right to me. I don't necessarily decorate the back of the tree. So I just finished decorating the trees. This one you're looking at here was definitely a lot more difficult than the other one because I went solo on this one. I love how it turned out. I'm gonna do a little bit more fluffing in a bit. Then we have the area near the mirror. I haven't decorated that quite yet. And then we have this tree over by the window. We're gonna do a little bit more fluffing, but I love the gold and the icicles. And I actually wasn't even going to get the icicles. That was Babe's call. And I'm so glad that she basically forced us to get them because we weren't gonna have them. And I think that they're crucial to this look. 
Now I'm going to decorate our makeshift coffee table. If you've been here before, you guys know that we are in transition when it comes to a coffee table. I just don't know quite what I want. But first I'm putting some coffee table books down and this book actually has a white dust cover, but it is green. So I actually wanted to expose that for the holidays for just a tad bit of holiday spirit. And then I'm going in with a white book. You'll be able to see I have done some damage on this book because I use it all the time, but I love it. I love the color pairing also, obviously. And last but not least, I am adding a bowl because we want to mix up the shapes. So this is really nice and in theme with Christmas. And now I'm going to do something super duper fun. Now I'm going in with mini disco balls because I think they're super cute. They're actually ornaments. So I'm just flipping them hangy things side down. Really good with the language there. So I'm going in with three big ones and then I'm grabbing a bunch of smaller ones as well. And that was very nice and simple. Just a little bit of holiday cheer via our coffee table styling. And again, that's where we're using the green and the white. And can we also talk about all this dust on the floor? I think I love Christmas decorating, but it's so messy. I'm gonna have a vacuum probably a hundred times, but it's definitely gonna be worth it. And here is a nice top-down view of those little disco balls. I just love them. They really just reflect the light beautifully. So it's like you have them lit up, even though they're not, but you could definitely get some Dollar Tree little battery operated string lights and string them through there. If I have them, you know what? I'll do that right now. We'll have to see. Now we're putting together our bedroom Christmas tree. We have one from Ikea. It's 83 and a quarter inches, I believe. Um, and it was fairly affordable. I think it was like 70 bucks or something to that effect. Maybe a little bit more expensive or a little bit cheaper. But this is the one we're gonna put in our big pot in our bedroom. Obviously I'll show you that when we put it there. But we're just gonna get started putting this together. In the past, we've only had one tree. But this year we have two trees out in the living room and one in the bedroom. We just wanted to make it a little bit more festive. Something I think we got wrong last year was Christmas tree placement. We actually had our big tree right here and it really just kind of obstructed the walkway. So I'm so happy that we reoriented the room. Do you keep your Christmas tree in the same place every year or do you move it around? How many Christmas trees do you have? Let me know down in the comments. And in terms of height, you can see it's actually just a little bit taller than Babe. So I think that that's pretty good. Instead of doing the same thing we did on the big trees, we actually ended up using some leftover stars that we had. The leftover silver crackled balls that we had from our main trees. We just wanted to look a little bit different. It's sparse, it's Scandinavian. I'm gonna put it in the room now in this big pot. And again, I'm gonna elevate it with trash. That really offends a lot of people, but it's just a way to elevate a tree without having to use dirt for a faux tree. Um, it's a really good technique, I love it, but let's put this in that pot now. Okay guys, so this is what the tree looks like in the bedroom. It's just such a good way to add a little bit of the holiday spirit in the room. And we added so much height by putting it in that crate and barrel pot. You guys have seen this pot before. It's the one that the big olive tree is normally in, but now it is for the Christmas tree. In terms of making the sofas a little bit more festive, I'm going in with this faux fur pillow. You guys have seen this one before. It's actually from Ikea and I love faux fur, especially for the holiday season because it's just so nice and cozy. And you guys know I'm keeping out my black restoration hardware pillows. I love them. Plus they were just way too expensive for me to not keep them out all the time. And last, but certainly not least, Sorry, taking off the tags here. I have these cute little holiday pillows and I know I don't tend to add color. So I know you guys are probably gonna be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. But I'm adding these green pillows as well, just to add a little bit of a festive touch.
So now that the Christmas trees are decorated and the living room proper is decorated, I want to decorate our dining room. And this is so exciting because we actually have new dining furniture. If you follow me over on Instagram, you've heard me talk about this, but we actually got a brand new dining table and chairs from our house. And I want to say thank you to our house. And you guys have witnessed me work with our house before. They are such an incredible brand. And what I really love is that everything is super high quality. So I ended up getting the Parsons dining table and the Jagger chairs. And you guys have heard about these Jagger chairs all over the internet because they are fantastic. And you're going to watch me decorate all of these things today. And I'll tell you a little bit more about why I decided to update my dining furniture and a little bit more about the our house dining furniture in particular because when I looked at the website it was a no-brainer I thought these things were gonna pair beautifully together and I think that they really do but now I want to talk about how we decided to actually decorate the table for Christmas so if you look at this table there is so much detailing and that's actually why I wanted this table because I love that you can see the natural wood grain um, and it's so well made. What I actually loved about this table and which was a selling point for me is they actually have felt pads on the bottom of the table itself so I can scoot this table around to my heart's content and for someone like me who is always changing their home around that was like I was sold immediately and I, I just I love how nice and simple it is. The wood tells a story without me having to add anything else. I feel like this table completely bare still looks nice and I think that is such a rarity. Then we got the Jagger chairs and it has the brass which we have elsewhere in the home. It has the cream which we have elsewhere in the home and I like that it's a lot more open. I always felt like our living room before it was too matchy matchy but this they're still in our color scheme but we have some new shapes some new colors well not some new colors but we have some new shapes we have a little bit more dimension which is what I'm craving but I didn't have to push myself outside of my comfort zone. All of that being said, I wanted to take the colors of the table and the chairs and kind of accentuate them. And I wanted the table to look beautiful, but not overdone. Because I often find with Christmas decor, you can't actually eat on the table, right? You can see me right now. I can, I can have a whole meal right here if I want to. I don't have to move this and that and whatever to actually sit down and have a good time. And I think Christmas, while it's about, you know, making your house look beautiful, it's also about spending time with family. So we want to decorate in a way that allows us to do that. Well, let's talk about the things that we actually have on this table. So I wanted to do a runner instead of a tablecloth because I wanted this Parsons table to kind of shine like the beauty that she is. So I went with a faux fur runner because faux fur is so in and faux fur really reminds me of the winter time. Um, and therefore I like it, therefore I'm gonna do it. That's, that's my interior design motto. If I like it, that's what I'm gonna do. So we took a faux fur runner and we just put our normal black plates on there that have that antique look to them and paired them with a brass charger. Of course we did the brass chargers to pair them with the Jagger chairs here because it has this antique brass here. I think they complement each other super duper well. And I actually mixed up the chargers. Um, one, because I could only find four of the one I wanted from Home Goods, and two, I like the different textures. And again, I wasn't gonna let Home Goods stop me from being great this holiday season. So I mixed it up. I have the different ones on the ends and then the matching ones on the runner here. Then um, I have the charger, I have the black plates, and then I made these little Christmas tree napkins because for me, Christmas is about keeping it classy. Like I've said so far in this video, we wanna decorate in a way that we can allow our decor to be up for months at a time and it not interrupt our everyday life but it also needs to be a little bit more whimsical and needs to be fun and like I love this this is something I would have loved as a kid so I wanted this to be a really nice touch um, and it's really easy to use you just kind of unfold it and you use it and you kind of go on about your day which is fantastic these napkins were also another way to introduce you know some green because it's a Christmas color and as you saw with our Christmas last year if you haven't seen that yet I'll link that video here um, it was very just white it wasn't even black and white, it was just white, and I felt like it was kind of boring. Um, and I wanted to introduce more color, so that's why we have green on the mirror, we have those big green Christmas trees, we have green um, pillows, we have these Christmas trees. I wanted more of that holiday spirit, but not red, because red is just not the color for me. In terms of tabletop decor though, um, I didn't want to do too much, and I'll be honest, this decor is already too much if you're trying to actually have a meal, because you could just have like one itty bitty plate of something. I mean, I guess maybe if you're on a diet, it'd be good, but for the holiday, we 
want to have a lot of people over but for now we have these two christmas trees here you guys know i love the symmetry that is my bread and butter i love symmetry and i wanted more christmas trees the two over there just weren't enough for me so i have two over here with a little bit of burlap it's a quick little diy product i did if you could even call it that and i got these tiny little ornaments they have the white they have the silver they have the glass they're really reminiscent of the ornaments that i have over there but not too much gold because it doesn't detract from the jagger chair and the charger we wanted there to be kind of like a seamless integration of the two and i think that those were really successful but i love these two little trees obviously when we sit down we'll move them and just kind of put down um, our serving plates but for now i think this is a really nice ode to christmas and all day long i'm just going to put my candle here um, my beautiful christmas tree smelling candle that i said i'd show you before and i didn't so i'll show you right now i'll put it right here and i'll make your entire house smell like christmas even if you don't have real christmas trees at all because you're allergic to christmas trees like me and babe is actually bringing it over to me to show it to you oh it's so glorious and beautiful and it smells like christmas and santa claus and everything good in the world and if you don't have a candle snuffer um because you didn't want to pay the two dollars like me it has a great aluminum lid put it on there and you're good to go now I want to show you our trees. So you saw me decorate the trees and I told you last year and the year before I was so anal when it came to decorating the trees. It kind of stopped being fun. So this year I kind of threw things up there um, without any rhyme or reason. And I feel like it's fun. It's fun. So like I showed you before, we have this, um, you know, textured glam one. We have this antique glass gold one. We have this cracked silver one. We have some much needed pine cones. I feel like without the pine cones, this tree wouldn't be it because you need that touch of brown. Um, and it actually ties in with the brown of the faux rug we have actually under the dining table, which is nice. Then we have some antique glass ones here. This is kind of like a diamond shape, if you will, corresponds to the ones we have on those mini trees. And then we have these icicles and I have to give babe a shout out here. Let's see if I can get it off. I have to give babe a shout out here because she was like, we need these icicles. And I was like, no, we don't. And they were critical to the experience because it added a new shape. So, you know, you know, we appreciate that. And we have the lights, like I said, we lit these ourselves. They're very sparsely lit and that's what I like because I don't like the trees to look too yellow with the light, but also I hate white Christmas lights because it's so sterile to me and blue. And I don't like the color blue, at least in my own house. So this was, this is kind of an in-between for us. It does give off that yellow glow, but it's Christmas. So I'm gonna be a little bit flexible. As for the mirror, we did the same thing as last year here. If you wanna see how to do this um, on TikTok in a little bit, there'll be a kind of instructional video with one of my favorite brands so you can figure out how to do this but I just took some garland and I draped it along the mirror to just add a pop of green up there because this is the focal piece of the room and if you want your house to stream Christmas you kind of got to go big or go home so that's what I did there and I actually linked the lights for me here and there so I don't have to like you know rummage behind the tree to light the mirror they're kind of a two-in-one situation I might even add more lights it depends on if I want to get back on the ladder because that was an event then we have the other tree over on this side. Um, it's exactly the same, except for I kind of ran out of these antique ornaments. But again, in an attempt to not be so stressed, I just kind of use more of the crackle ones instead. If I find these, I'll get them. But I really did buy every single one in Pittsburgh. So what's a girl going to do? As for um, stars on the top of the tree, we've never had those before. And I'm not sure that we're going to do them. Maybe. Let us know down in the comments. Do you think we need stars or some type of Christmas tree topper? Or do you like them as is? Let us know down in the comments if you guys say yes, we'll get some and we'll vote on it. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me as we decorated my home for the holidays. I had such a blast. I hope you had endless cups of hot cocoa and you spent some time decorating your trees as well. If you did, please show them to me. Tag me in them on Instagram. I'd love to see what your Christmas color scheme is this year. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and check me out on Instagram. And everything that I mentioned in today's video will be linked down below, especially my brand new Parsons dining table and Jagger chairs. I I cannot thank our house enough and if you have any questions about them at all leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer them until next time have a beautiful day